if your nails aren't growing or your hair is falling out, you're at a mineral deficit, but that might be because the body has taken your mineral load and has put it into other organs in order to keep you alive. So what I just learned in your comment is one of the things I'm trying to bring back into the conversation is how our, our periods, our menstrual blood, actually can tell us a lot about our health. But what I just heard from you is that our hair and nails can also tell us a lot about where our mineral levels are at. Now, you could go to anxiety and depression. There's a lot of reasons for that. But in my book, hair and nails is very clear. It's a mineral issue. Well, we have so many, just on the, on the menstruation thing, you know, we have so many women who start taking our minerals. And after two to four months, if they've had painful periods, they go away. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, and why is that? Well, partly it's because of the, the, the detoxification capacity of the plant-based humic substances, because menstruation is a detox event as well. And, but it's also because of the cramping. I mean, the cramping yeah. is a mineral deficiency. So when you're fully mineralized, your body doesn't have to do so much cramping. So it's, yeah, or it doesn't end up, and that's not well said, but in, end up in such cramping. You know, this, one of the things that I've really been thinking about recently, as I've continued to delve down and get smaller and smaller and look at the body, I mean, recently I was learning that I think that there, that bacteria and microorganisms in your body outnumber cells 10 to 1. Yes. Yes. So nobody talks about this. Really, so I've been thinking of more and more. I've been thinking about how, you know, this relationship and it really speaks to, you know, just actually letting the, your plant die and just go back to the earth naturally in your garden. So is that this body that we have is an ecosystem. And in mm. fact, we're not separate from the earth. The earth is an ecosystem. And humans actually are part of the, that ecosystem and the way that these bacteria and microorganisms are part of our ecosystem. It's all a whole. And if we begin to start thinking about our body as an ecosystem, when something's out of balance, that's when our, we lose our hair, that's when our nails aren't working, that's when we have brain fog, when this microorganism, I mean, relative to the size of the earth, right? Or this ecosystem is is not in balance. So what we what I've been really starting to want people to begin to think about is how can you start to think about your body that way? And it relates certainly to food. What we really want to talk about is and and how do you get food into you or how do you and one of in the same way that we've thought about our we've been taught to think about our body as parts. We've also been taught to think about having a huge effect on the body. Like I'm going to take Advil, I'm going to take a drug, I'm going to take a, a caffeine, I'm going to take something that's going to give me an impact right now. And people call me two days after taking the minerals and they're like, I don't feel anything. I'm like, okay, <laughs> give it some time. Your body is an ecosystem. You're using ecosystem tools that work with the natural replenishment systems in the body. These are slow acting balancing processes, not, you know, in nature, if we have something like that, it's a volcano, it's a tidal wave, it's an earthquake. These are not good things yeah, <laughs> in right. ecosystems. Right. Well, you know what? what I, I go back to the garden. I love this ecosystem, by the way. <clears throat> I go back to the garden analogy and I think, okay, let's, let's talk about my garden. If it's, it's an ecosystem. So now if I came out and I poured chemicals into it, if I covered it so it didn't get any light, if I decided to talk horribly to it, and we have some studies talking, showing what happens when you talk poorly to plants, I could not expect that garden to flourish. But yet, if we don't think of the human body as an ecosystem, that's exactly what we're doing. It's like we're putting toxins in. We're not getting enough light. We're talking poorly to ourselves. We're la allowing our brains to hook on to negative thought patterns that are out in the cultural zeitgeist. We are literally trashing our body in this modern day world. And then when symptoms show up, 
We go looking for the one thing that's going to cure us, like the person you talked about where they take minerals for two days and then they're like, wait a second, this doesn't, this isn't helping. But really what the name of the game of health is, is bringing harmony back to that ecosystem. And what I'm just learning from you right now, and I just want to emphasize this for my listeners, is minerals are a key piece of this because of the effect uh, and the crucial part of them for cellular health. 